you still alive. Welcome to a video on how to get good at Cosmic Brains, perhaps the ultimate hidden gem in the game. Players who are able to master this exceptional duelist will be able to win more one-on-one -on -one fights than the number of vowels Jellybean can speak without being interrupted by skeletons. Let's get started. Cosmic Brains is a variant of the Super Brains class whose primary is that of his own cosmic fists that he can use to face fuck people to death. However, the default fists on their own are rather underwhelming, with him firing at 128 rounds per minute, with each punch dealing a measly 20 damage per hit, making it extremely poor for a melee weapon. However, for some unexplained reason, Cosmic is able to charge his fists and punch the shit out of plants even harder, which for the amount of damage he can do, is perfect for his extra perks. The first level of charge only takes a brief 0.4 seconds to achieve and allows his punch to deal 45 damage per hit as opposed to only 20. This will be your primary method of killing things as the short charge time combined with the high damage allows him to take opponents down very quickly and if you happen to encounter either a Rose or Agent P then you can grant them the ultimate form of embarrassment by hitting them twice with the mid charge and then use Turbo Twister to secure the kill. Happy trolling. The full charge takes a hefty 2 seconds to reach but grants a massive 70 damage and on top of that has an additional meters worth of range in comparison to the other punches meaning that you can, if you time it correctly, punch a chomper before they can reach you. The punch will also knock them back slightly though will not take them out of a rooted form like P Gatling or Sunbeam. If a vanquish is scored with the maximum charge, then a black hole compressed of everyone's hatred on Twitter will drag them in and cause them to be unrevivable and never seen again. This is best used as a way to start fights if you are able to approaching them without giving away your position, or if you're against a legendary character and you can't dare allow them to be revived. Cosmic's ranged attack, unlike most of the SBs, consists of a moderate firing automatic laser shooter, but like most SBs, overheats very quickly, so you must use it sparingly. The weapon fires at 350 rounds per minute and can fire for up to 2.73 seconds before overheating, causing it to be unavailable for almost 8 entire fucking seconds, so you might as well read a graphic novel whilst waiting for that shit to recover. Each shot fired can deal 9.5 damage for a normal hit and 11.4 damage for a critical hit and like every other beam in the SB class suffers from extremely harsh drop off with it going all the way down to 1 damage for a normal hit and 1.2 for a critical hit. The optimum upgrade setup for cosmic brains would be the damage, health regeneration and overheat penalty upgrades. This may seem strange at first so let me explain. Obviously the damage allows you to kill your enemies faster and in some cases allows you to do things you normally couldn't do. The health regeneration upgrade allows you to gain health back quicker, which is crucial for a melee class. And the overheat penalty upgrade, as because of the near 8 second penalty that your beam has, shading a second off it will make it much more accessible if it needed, as well as making accidental overheats less punishing. In terms of strengths, Cosmic Brains is an exceptional duelist and is perfect for one-on-one -on -one encounters against mid to low health classes, as well as ambushing them with his max level punch. He is also an effective counter to legendary characters if they have a pocket flower nearby, as even if he dies in the process as long as he is able to make them unrevivable, then they will be forced to start from square one. However, like every other SB, he is weak at range, making him vulnerable to classes like cacti and corns. His beam also takes a long time to recover from overheating, which will leave you unable to defend yourself from garlic drones should it overheat. Lastly, he struggles against groups of enemies due to the nature of his playstyle, which may end up leaving him overwhelmed in 2v1 situations. Thanks to this guide, you can now win almost every one-on-one -on -one encounter and prove to everyone in existence that believing popular influence will make you look like a fucking idiot. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.